Okay, this is the moment you've been waiting for. This is uh, actually a demonstration on how to uh, remove and replace the timing belt. Okay, initially, first, what you want to do is uh, mark up your cam. I'm marking the crank here on the uh, where the wood rough key is. The uh, camshaft already has a dot punch there, and I've just put some tipex in it to make it a lot clearer. All right. So, I've fitted the dog nut, and the glow plugs are out. It doesn't matter what position your engine's in, the first thing you need to do is to wind the engine round, okay, until the cam marker lines up with the pointer on the casing. All right, now, if you look, it's now about to come up to that point. This is where the cam will be set. On its timing marker, okay, it's exactly there. Next thing to do, all right, you can check this. There's a, a pointer here, which is supposed to line up with the crank Woodruff key. All right, I've white marked it, but the best way to do it is to stick a, a timing pin in. All right, um, it comes with a kit I've uh, explained on this DVD. Basically there's a slot in the flywheel which the pin locks to and that is where your engine crank is timed up to. All right. Now, I'll show you a bit closer. It can be a Nats cock out, look, you can see that. So, it's a matter of winding the engine round until the timing pin actually fits. All right. Dead center. All right, there you go. Now the crank is timed up correctly. Um, if you don't have a timing pin, you've got to be aware of this. All right, now look at this. This is half a tooth out. Look, I haven't done. Bring it the crank round with a screwdriver. Looking through the hole, you can see the slot. Timing pin in there. It's still a nat's cock out. That's why I'd always advise getting a timing pin to do your timing belt or making something up which is dead center to the uh, drain plug hole. Right, so we'll get the engine back round again. Obviously, this is on the bench, and you'll be doing yours in your vehicle. Um, it's impossible to show this on a vehicle, so we've done it on the bench. This is the fuel pump timing pin. It slots in into the timing pin hole. The engine timing is now set. You can remove the belt. Right. Carrying on, the next thing to remove is the bolt out of the centre of the belt tensioner idler. Okay, fairly straightforward, 13mm socket. There's nothing difficult about this in the timing belt change, as long as it's timed up properly, it's no problem. New belt, new uh, tensioner. And anyway, right, let's carry on with removing this belt. Um, these, as I um, said before, the start of this clip um, gives you the interval of when they're supposed to be changed. Okay, now the static idler. Remove. In the centre there, um, I'm using a 15mm socket. So, in this place, uh, leave space for a uh, new jockey pulley to be fitted. Now, what we must do here slacken off the locking plate which is held on by three bolts on the timing uh, uh, pump gear okay now that's loose and you want to set it somewhere between the two all right i put a white marker on there you'll uh, see later on when i put the belt on it does move and that's the idea of slacking it off okay i've got some thread lock here i've uh, put on the stud uh, that's um, 243 solution which is uh, blue thread lock all right so it's a matter of um, setting the uh, static idler in place all right i've also put a new nut on here and uh, there we go let's look it up you wouldn't want to use an air gun on here it is into the aluminium casing whereas the uh, tensioner is into the block okay yeah um little thing here because it doesn't need to be disturbed again because we replaced it 
I'm going to talk it up. The talk range setting will come up on the screen right now. And that is what is recommended in the um, Land Rover Discovery Manual. Okay, so we'll set that to the correct torque and there we go. Okay, I need an adapter on here from 3 8 to uh, half inch. And it's just a matter of pulling it up to the clicks. There you go. Now that's done, we can forget about that. Next jump is to put the um, belt tensioner in place. Alright, what I do here is put it on loose. Okay, first off, that's quite vital. Right. Now, as I explained earlier, this pump gear needs to be loose. Okay, now, you see the white marker I've put on there? Yeah, I'm going to set it somewhere in between the two bits where it's slack. As you pull the tension up on the belt, the pulley will roll to the left hand side as you look at it. Okay, that's the idea of having the lock plate loose. Right, so I'm fitting the tensioner back in place very loosely, first of all. This helps me get the belt on. Okay, now, watch how I do this. On the right hand side, this is your right hand side, okay, I'm fitting the belt into the teeth on the cam. Okay, now I'm pulling the belt as tight as I can get it by hand or by finger to lock into the teeth of the crank, okay. Now that is actually the tension, which isn't much at all. Alright, now the belt is halfway on the pump pulley, I'm now dropping this just uh, just slightly out of the way, okay, get the tension out of the way, then slip the belt on completely, there you go, it's under the teeth, let's check the teeth are all in place, okay, and I'm fitting the tensioner bolt back in place, the thread also is thread locked on here, once we've got that in place, 13mm socket, just nip it up, just nip it up, just slightly, okay, so nothing's going to move at this point, okay, next operation is uh, using the uh, tensioner here, okay, you don't use a click wrench on here, and uh, this fits into the half inch drive slot just there, okay, that's what you're going to pull your belt tension up with. The section on here will explain exactly what the tension is and how the tool works. Alright, so I'm going to pull the tension up, okay, just checking the belt's okay, and then nip it up. I will do eventually, yeah, right, okay, pulling the tension up, okay, and then nipping the centre bolt of the um, adjuster into place. Okay, the belt tensioner we'll call it the adjuster. Okay, right, now that's all set. Next job, okay, timing pin in the pump. What we're going to do here, this is a 22mm socket, I'm going to set the pump, the pin has got to slide in and out um, easily, okay, like in here, okay. And then I'm nipping the bolts up, okay, there's no need to talk them at the moment, just in case we need to reset it. Okay, that's three. Like I said, the pin needs to slim, slip in and out easily. There we go. Okay, timing marker for the crank still in place. And um, there we go. Good handy bit of kit, that. And um, not forgetting... This timing pin actually just pulls out of place like that. It's still screwed into situ in situ, but the pin that slots out, okay, it enables you to wind the crank round and not break the pin. Okay, now, this is um, a standard rule when you're doing timing belts, is to wind it round twice. Engine goes round clockwise, not anti-clockwise. Okay, now I'm going to bring the timing marker up to the same points as they were before. 
Okay. Right. If the belt's on correct or correctly, then there will not be a change. The engine should be timed up now. I'll just wiggle this about just a little bit. Get it into place. Alright. Now, there we go. Cam and the crank are set. And we're going to check that yeah, the point is alright. Yep. Bang on. And, um, pin is in place. Yep. That's okay. It's in the slot. And the next thing to do is to put the pump pin in. Okay, now if that slides in easily, then the engine's okay, the timing's set, there's not a problem. Right. And then, it's a matter of resetting the tension on the belt. Same process again. Alright. Into the slot. And then pull it up to the correct tension provided to you in the uh, technical manual. Right, there you go. That's a matter of um, locking this off. Right. Okay, let me see, I'm tightening that up, but I'm actually going to torque it up as well. The belt tension is set correctly now, the timing is spot on. Right. As you can see, the pin comes straight out the pump slot there, and uh, I'm going to recover my timing pin. Okay. Now, the next thing to do is to um, talk everything up. If you've done the uh, oil seal on the uh, camshaft, then you'd have left this bolt until the belt was back on. Obvious reasons, you want something to hold it. Okay, so I'm talking this up. Talk wrench settings here. Change the socket. Eventually. And uh, I'm doing the belt tensioner bolt up. Okay. Right, so while I go and have a socket change, here comes the torque setting for that one. Okay, now with the uh, 10 mil socket fitted, it's a matter of clicking up these three bolts to the correct tension. Torque setting here on the screen. Alright, okay, there you go, timing belt fitted. This is an old chestnut for you, alright, um, fitting the belt, starting with the right hand side, well, left hand side of the engine, my right hand side, okay, now, the tension, firstly on the right hand side of the belt, I'm having problems here, alright, it's alright, trying to get it around the pump pulley, but, I'll bring this in closer to see, yeah, you get your teeth fitted into your cam pulley, alright, that's the first thing, yeah that's in, you can see that, that's in tidily, and then pull it round, get your tension on your belt on your right hand, your right hand side, and uh, yeah, I've got problems, look, that's, um, before you do anything you've got to get your belt right on that side, now, 
Let's have a tooth out around this side. The crank is not set correctly. You can see that very clearly. All right, there's no way I'm going to get the belt fitted. It'll either be too slack, and you can't do it any tighter than this. All right. This side of the belt is important, first of all. Right. The uh, reason for it, as you can see on this, the flywheel side, half a tooth out. That actually looks miles out. All right. Um, so, the importance having a timing pin, okay, or at least making sure that this groove is in the centre of the drain plug hole on your flywheel housing. Alright, now get my timing back in there, timing pin back in, that's it, that's right, okay, crank is now set, so, we can get on setting the pump uh, pulley to what it should do, um, dropping the belt onto your cam side, and then, watch this, okay, the tension is now there on the right hand side, Okay, so it's just a matter of um, fitting the rest of the belt. All right. As I said before, in the first part of this fitting the timing belt um, section on this DVD, all right, let's actually uh, have your idler in place, your idler adjuster in place, so you've got your belt caught up on there. All right. I'm still holding the part on the crank there so I don't lose it off the teeth. Okay, now I'm there. No problem. Okay, so let's um, just do up the idler, set the tension, and we're away. All right. The timing shouldn't be out at this point. 